Hello everyone and welcome back to the new Swift UI tutorial. In this lesson, we are going to create macOS application in which we will be creating a Swift UI sample Kanban board. It would be really an interesting one because you are going to create your own custom Kanban board. So here you can see the sample that we will be achieving by the end of this tutorial. So we have three progresses to do in progress and done. You can drag and drop our tasks to different status. So let's see if I add payment gateway, I can change the status to in progress and then I can move it to done. Similarly, if, if I want to move update data back to to do, you can do that. We will look at how you can achieve the Swift UI sample Kanban board using draggable and drop destination API. So there is one more feature in the Swift sample Kanban board, which is dark mode. Here we have a button of to enable dark mode by enabling it. Our background will turn into black and our foreground color will also change as per our background color. So we are also going to look at how you can add dark mode or light mode to your application. So let's get started. When you create a new application, it will ask you whether you want to create an iOS Mac. So here we have created Mac Swift UI application. Now in our project hierarchy, we have utilities, we have app. Now in utilities, we have project structures and enums. In the project structures and enums, we have declare enum, which have progress type. Then we have structure with project pro progress status. We have task structure. And in project extension, we have color to add the random colors. So we have divided our app into three parts, task view, status column, and sample convent. So moving on from the downward. So first we have task. In task, we have added vstack. In this vstack, we have text name, which is in which, which could be be any name of your task then we have a stack with the image and our ticket number then you can see that we have an image for the profile so you can create your own task type as you want i have just created a sample one so then we have a status column and status column we have three state different status column we have created one generic structure that we can use for all status column for that we have a name which could be to do in progress or done and then we have a list of tasks so here we can see we have a state name in our status column column and we have task listed as you can see in our Kanban board. So in this we have created a Z stack. We have given a background color of gray. Then we have a V stack. First we have given a name. Then we have a list of tasks. So as you can see we have added list and in that list we have a different task views. All right. Now it is moving because we have added dot draggable and we have given task object. So if we have a list of tasks, we have added dot draggable on any one task. Then we have added list attributes. So this is how we have created three status columns. Now moving on to our parent view which is sample convent. Here you can see we have created three progress which is to do in progress done and these we have added different tasks you can add your own this is just to show the sample then we have declared the color scheme that we will discuss later on and in this we have created a title and we have given add stack and then for each why add stack because we have to get we have to arrange the status column in horizontal order so as you can see we have to do in progress and done so here we have three status columns so it's going to repeat three times and it's going to display these three columns. In this for each we have dot drop destination. Now this is something interesting that we need to look at. So here in dot drop destination we have drop task and location. So here we are going to get the dragging task which will be the drop task dot first the task that we are dragging. Then we are going to create a temporary progress status. Now this progress status is our the status column. So we are going to traverse the status columns and we are going to look at from which it is being dragged and on which it is being dropped. Let's say if it's being dropped at to do, we are going to remove it from in progress and done. So this statement is going to remove it from in progress and done and it will add in to do task. So here we are checking that we are getting the drop task whether we have any task or not and then we are check checking the status. After checking the status, we are appending that. So let's say if I'm going to move this enhance UI UX from done to to do, it's going to remove from done and it's going to add in to do, making sure it doesn't exist and in progress also. So this is how we are going to remove and we are going to add. Then we are going to append in our temporary variable, which is of type progress status array. And then we are going to set back it to progress. This is how we are going to achieve this drop feature like if you want to drop it to to do you can just draw drag and drop it to to do now if you look at the bottom left we have enabled dark mode feature so what it happens is that it changes the color of background and foreground style for text so we have declared the color scheme as we mentioned that we are going to discuss this later 
So for light and dark appearance, we have added color scheme and we have given type color scheme. The color scheme is being changed on the press of this button. So it's going to chat enable light mode and enable dark mode. So in this button, we have declared a function and against this function, it checks if as a color scheme is dark, change it to light and if it's light, change it to dark. So this way we have set the color scheme in foreground styles and we have also added to the background style. So this is how our Swift UI sample Kanban board is created on macOS application. Hope you learned how you can create Swift UI sample Kanban board along with that how you can implement draggable and drop destination API. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys learned from it. See you in the next tutorial.